It was <laughs> such a moving moment. I mean, whether you, no one was expecting it. It was such a moving moment to watch all of these people sort of say their vows and get married. And we have another surprise today. Joining us to discuss last night's marriage ceremonies is one of the couples themselves, Quincy and DeAndre Gosfield. Welcome, guys. Hey, Hi, how are you? Congratulations. <laughs> thank, thank you, you. Thank you so much. Are you guys look so cute right now? Are you still in your wedding outfits from last night? Did you just party all night? Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Talk I'm to me to about like how right this now. all worked. How were you approached to be a part of the ceremony? What was the process like? Uh, it was. Uh, it's interesting. I think. It, I think the casting firm put out a, a wide net and asked people if they knew of anybody that was committed and ready to get married, like seriously committed, ready to get married. And uh, a friend of ours that knew one of the casting guys gave a name, gave our names, and uh, the rest is history. So were you allowed to tell anybody? Did you have to keep it a secret? Oh, gosh, it was the worst secret ever because, you, you know, you want to share it with your friends and family, and, and our family spread across the country. So, you know, we, we had to devise ways to get people to watch the Grammys without telling them that we were getting married. But, you know, they knew that we were engaged, so... It, it was extremely difficult. Yeah, we were not allowed to tell. And I believe the story leaked yesterday morning while we were on set. So are you guys officially married? Did Queen Latifah, is she legally able to sort of put you in this binding contract? Did you sign a marriage license? Yes. Yes. We went yes. through the entire process as if we were, not as if, we got married. Yeah, we got married for sure. And she came backstage after the Grammys and she signed with the state officials everybody's uh, marriage certificate. So that was that was pretty awesome. I feel like everyone puts their marriage certificate in like the safe or a safe deposit box. Are you guys going to frame it? You have the coolest <laughs> marriage certificate out there. Of course, we're already saving all of our little laminates and little uh, after-party tickets. We're like already have it all planned out. So that's going to go to the right. That's going to go to the left. Yeah, it's all planned out. So during, tell me about the actual, you know, we watched the ceremony part live, which is crazy that everyone got to be a part of that. What was the day like? What did you go through? Who did you meet? What did you, I want to know everything. It, it, oh, wow. It was pretty surreal. I, I guess the, the day was very you know, slow pace because, you know, the, the show is a very, you know, metered kind of format and you have to kind of wait, just hurry up, get over here. And then we get in the puddle and then they're like, okay, wait, wait a little while. We're going to go out there in about an hour. <laughs> so that was a little, that was a really uh, uh, grueling kind of just kind of staying there and wondering what's going to happen next. Um, I would say um, one of the most memorable parts to me was during the ceremony, uh, I caught eyes with Katy Perry, <laughs> and I was pretty good. I was pretty good, and I said I wasn't going to cry, and I, I, I was I was going to get through this. And she just she looked at me, and she put her hand on her mouth, and it was like tears just flowed out of her face. And I was like, oh, oh, don't do that, please don't do that. And then I was it was no more for me. Yeah, and I was right with him, thinking I'm not going to cry. But then I look at his face and his face is trembling and I'm like, oh my gosh, if he cries, I'm going to cry. So I try to look away from him and I catch eyes with Paul McCartney and Paul McCartney puts his hand over his heart and he smiles at me, nods his head. And then I lost it, which is the screen grab that everybody is posting all over the internet. Hashtag, hashtag ugly, ugly cry. cry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> When I get married, I'm going to lock eyes with my Aunt Rita, so it's not going to be even <laughs> close to being as spectacular as that. After the marriage was done, there were the cutaways to all of the celebrities, and everyone in the audience seemed to be tearing up and emotional. What do you guys make of the Grammys making such a big stand on a huge issue, marriage equality? And it was about marriage equality. There were, you know, gay, lesbian, old, young weddings, you know, all 33 of them really encompassed everyone. What did you guys make of the Grammys making that statement and being a part of it. Oh gosh, it was it was huge. Um, I think I didn't really understand the weight of it until I was even through the run throughs. I was feeling something, but that moment, I thought, wow, if this is a place that you wanted to get a, a, a message out to the masses, bring people together in one single instant, and and have people in one accord, and and uh, feeling the same thing all at the same time. This would be the, would be that place. Well, yeah. 
Yeah, and I feel that it, it was appropriate for the Grammys because music is something that's universal. It's, it's a universal language. And no matter where you're from, we're all moved by music and sound. And, and for that message to be uh, supported and, and encouraged by musicians and people who Absolutely. create the Ruins. soundtrack of our lives uh, primarily, I thought was extremely special. Um, and I wasn't expecting to see the hundreds of thousands of people, I could be exaggerating, thousands of people <laughs> at the Staples Center. Um, when we walked out, all stood up when they saw us come from, you know, the backs of the, backs of the stage and come around. And they just stood up and began to applaud. And it, it was overwhelming. I, it, it was just a... I, I was just filled with just the the love you felt in the room. Just all of these people, you know, never seen me in my life. I thought it was interesting that a lot of the uh, celebrities were taping us <laughs> were yeah. walking down the aisles. They were the yeah, they're posting pictures of us. Which the was, shoe was definitely yeah. on the other foot for that one. Oh yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for letting Kia and I and everyone else be a part of congratulations that moment for you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting us be a part of this. Of course. Congratulations on your marriage. So excited for you guys. Thank you. Yes. To read the full story, make sure you check out the resource well below. That was amazing. Yeah. I, I love them. I think uh, DeAndre and Quincy are, you know, this is like a beautiful moment. These are, the fa this is to me the face of the Macklemore moment, not necessarily who's performing on stage and all the backstory and stuff like that, but these sort of real life stories that unfold there what made it a special day.